Uh, Abhishek joining me on this debate. And Abhishek, maybe you can throw the first question before we go to Andrew K.P. Lung and Victor Gao uh, and uh, Dr. Sanjeev Bagai. Maybe you can throw the first question to Dr. Lee Man Yang, who's a very well-known independent virologist joining us from New York on her sense of what That's the fair. picture is in China. Now, my question is or not to put the debate on its head and ask, uh, is there some Western propaganda involved or are we really looking at a serious situation in China? Because China remains an OPEC society as always. Yeah. We don't know whom to believe, whom not to believe, given the fact that the Chinese Ministry of Foreign Affairs, again, yeah. I think uh, third or fourth time in this week, mentioned that everything is under control. Yeah. So what's really happening? Can uh, someone from New York really throw light on that? Dr. Lee Men Yang, that question is to you. Dr. Hi, uh, thank you for having me. First, yes, Chinese Communist Party government still cover up the information as what they have done in Wuhan in early 2020 and also as what they have done uh, as usual. So the thing is the outbreak in China, China now is getting worse and worse just based on the data from China CDC, already over 200 million Chinese people get infected. However, we know the re uh, reality is not uh, is far more than that because we know that the uh, hospital are not allowed to give the uh, passenger tests and also a uh, hospital is overloaded, the people have no drugs, so there is no way for you to get the real information and data clearly. China doesn't want you to know what is circulating in China now and how severe it is. But based on the feedback from I collected that the things get worse and also the symptom is very uh, severe compared to the common Omicron uh, symptoms. And that's definitely not because of lifting the zero COVID policy and not because of the coverage of vaccination.